This is an exhibition organized and curated by Caravan, and it's titled The Bridge. And it involves 47 different artists of Muslim, Christian, or Jewish faith backgrounds. And the whole theme is what we hold in common. And it comes out of this vision, this understanding, actually, that the arts can be one of the most effective mediums to bridge between the Middle East and the West and their creeds and cultures. Sami Youssef, very happy to be here, invited by the Caravan Initiative. The program today is The Bridge, it's called The Bridge. We're very happy to be here performing The Gift of Love and attending this very beautiful initiative. Different Middle Eastern 
and Western faith and cultural background. And in this sense, Caravan and this exhibition, The Bridge, is not so much about interfaith or intercultural dialogue, which of course is very in vogue at this time. But it's actually something about, about, about something much more profound, and that's interfaith friendship. Paul Gordon came to work with us in the, in the Diocese of Egypt, and he spent 10 years in St. John the Baptist in Mahani, in the south of Cairo. And he had this wonderful idea, wonderful vision of using art to bring the grassroots people, the people at the grassroots. Art has always and will always be a way of healing, whether it be physical or emotional pain. Amongst other things, the caravan is the best method for spreading the idea of, com of the comprehension between religions. I got thanks. Oh, that's important. The bridge is a remarkable thing. If we reflect about the nature of a bridge, the one thing it doesn't do is bring two things closer to each other. It merely means you can get from one to the other properly. It maintains their distinctiveness and yet approaches them to each other spiritually and in understanding. I'm going to close with a Muslim prayer that I found helpful and that as a Christian I find I pray regularly. Loving God, if I love thee for hope of heaven, then deny me heaven. If I love thee for fear of hell, then give me hell. But if I love thee for thyself alone, then give me thyself alone. Ambassador, I'm proud to see uh, so many artists from Egypt and the rest of the Middle East coming from different faiths, expressing uh, together uh, their belief in understanding, uh, in dialogue, in love, uh, in uh, one destiny for the human uh, kind uh, through that. I think this is a wonderful event, actually, I'm delighted to be here. Really, it's a very lofty goal of trying to bridge the gap, but I think if anyone can achieve it, it's uh, Reverend uh, Paul Gordon John. So thank you very much for that. It's, it's a privilege to be here. Thank you. Art is a language of heart, and uh, because it is a language of heart, it can bring the hearts of many people together and join them together. Uh, I'm here because I support uh, Paul Gordon. If you look at, at uh, work by work, you don't see any things like that. You don't even know if it's a woman or a man let alone if he's a Muslim or, or Jewish or Christian. Maybe he's a, a Arab because it's written in Arabic, maybe. Huh? But art is universal. We cannot see, but we feel. We enjoyed very much the talks, the singing, the art, and what we are seeing from the, 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 the artists here is one of the best 
I've seen uh, all over my life. I was really touched by this event. We think of art because art actually bridges, and the, br the name bridge is quite an interesting name because it actually bridges culture, bridges language, brings any differences.